Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Patch Quest Early Access. So I played this game as like a preview a little while ago, and it was super cute and kind of charming. And now it's out. Uh, let's see, QWERTY. Okay. Let's take a quick gander at the settings just because. Display, full screen, borderless window, cool. Go back, graphics. Mixed, red, blue. Oh, that's nice. I might actually want to think about that. These are fine. Okay. I'm going to turn down the sound effects and just the volume a smidge. Anything else? Nope, not really. Oh, interesting. You can actually look at your save data folder. Nice. So Patch Quest has finally come to Steam. This ver version is fully featured and contains six of the game's 12 planned zones. Adding those remaining zones will be the focus of future updates. You can follow along with daily updates on the Discord server or the YouTube channel. And I will have links to at least some of those. Uh... Uh, I'll have links to some of those at least in the YouTube description. Now, I want to make the most man man that ever did man. That's a big nose. That's a big nose. That's a big nose. Oh, wait, oh there's skin color. Hair. Pink, obviously. Now, can I... Oh. Maybe that. I'll think about some of these. There. Mm. Colonel Sanders or just mustache. I think that fits better. I don't remember what I had for my previous character that I made. Oh, I, I kind of like the long flowing locks. Like, a, there's a lot of hairdos here, actually. Holy shit. Alright, now we've looped around. Yeah, let's look, let's look beautiful. Schwa. 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 Alright, skip intro? No, explore mode. Reduce challenge level so you can focus on exploration. Nah, we'll play this legit. If it's early access, I don't know, I'll die a bunch and we'll make it work. Long ago, the fabric of nature was firmly stitched together. But one day... A calamity struck, and these threads were cut. The earth split into a million patches that scattered in the winds. Now the Explorer's Guild must pin them back together. Welcome, recruit. It's your first day on the job. I'm Pack, your smart backpack, and I'm going to show you the ropes. Here at the Explorer's Guild, we don't ha do things by half, so we've thrown you right into the middle of an unexplored island. My radar is picking up an open clearing to the east. It looks like a great place to set up base camp. Let's try to reach it before we get eaten. Move with Wazd. Right, I'm going to turn down the uh, music by a little bit. Somebody was asking me to n uh, not do these when I record, but the answer is just like, I have to do them kind of by ear. I guess I could cut, a cut the recording for like half a second. I can't do anything, can I? Yeesh, we already found a monster already. Time to time for a crash course in monster taming. It's still kind of loud. Use your lasso and latch onto the beastie. Nope, I'm going to keep turning the audio down until it's not kind of loud. No shell for this one? Nah, it's a roguelike. You've locked on. Now you need to uh, travel in a circle around the monster. Ah. Hey, you did it. Now you can ride this little fella for a while. Let's keep moving. A muddy river, huh? That's no problem. Try using your mount's defense skill to fly over. Press and hold right click. And my mount farts as I go. You've tamed that monster like a pro. Every type of monster has unique skills, so try to remember uh, to try out lots of mounts. Wait a second, I hear something. Fear my farts. Oh my gosh, the island is swarming with monsters. We can't mount them all at once, so I'm gonna authorize your big guns, the Nutra Blaster. This bad boy sprays soothing gloop all over monsters. It also has a blender attachment for adding ingredients to the gloop. 
Spray those monsters down with the gloop to take them down. Nope, I will kill it with farts. Okay, fine. I will gloop it. I will fart it. Phew, that was a close one. That gloop is a juicy blend of agave nectar, cinnamon, and sleeping pills. It'll calm down even the angriest of monsters, guaranteed. Anyway, our destination is a little further. Jump off your mount and let's get going. Why would I do that? Why would I get off my mount? I like my mount. Imagine if this is how your world worked for real. I actually want to do a D&D campaign like this. That, like, at the end of every adventure or quest, you get, like, one or two uh, map tiles that you can put down that slowly expands the worlds, and you can, like, find new locations, towns, uh, kind of expand things. Imagine a combination of Dorf Romantic... Uh, hmm. It'd be, like, Dorf Romantic, but every tile can kind of pair off, so you chain a bunch of forests together. Maybe elves will start showing up. Yeah, if you combined Loop Hero with Dorf Romantic, uh, plus, like, D&D, &D, it'd be super cool. Anyway, here's a flat and fertile field. This is the perfect place to set up base camp. Please step back. Ray. This is your personal Shrink Tech cabin. I read that as Shrek Tech. This is your personal Shrek Tech cabin, courtesy of Shrek. We Shrek stuff better than anyone. Now that we've settled this island, we should give it a name. Patchlantis, excuse me. Shrek. With two Ks. Awesome. Shrek, huh? That's a pretty awesome. sweet name. By the way, this map has a super strong radar. I can use it to make a map of Shrek. All right. Huh, our base camp is blocked off on three sides. Uh, I guess we can only travel west for now. There must be a way to open these blocked paths. <laughs> Maybe open from the other side. Let's check out some of these marked spots. Okay, open map with tab and go to jungle. Oh, right. Give me a second. I should probably hit up extensions and deactivate perfect hey these altars weren't here before they're radiating a strange energy seems like the train on this island's constantly shuffling jungle zone slime boost the power of slippery type shots itchy types shots or soaked type shots well if we're going shrek slime it's slime time Okay, I'm in trouble. There we go. Didn't hurt me, though, surprisingly enough. Alright. Hypnomoth unlocked. Defense skill, Dusk Dash. Might as well. I don't know if I could have actually rode some of the, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh. Alright, I'm now slimed up. Mainly because snare proof, poison proof. And we have a slime. Very similar setup, but seeing as I've got slime slime bonuses, it seemed relevant. Explosive. Oh! Oh right. I forgot. We've we put ingredients into our shots. That's what it was. And homing. Okay, so the answer is... Oh, I'm stuck to the environment. As long as I'm sticky. Maybe I'm sticky for a while now. I don't really know. Hey, there's cool, loads of cool plants in the forest, but none of them can be found in my database. Which means these plants haven't been discovered yet. They're unknown to science. We need to capture one immediately. Take this gadget. Pin press. Shrinks wild plants, turning them into tiny patch pins. Cataloging local wildlife is bound to help us out. To capture, just stand near our plant and push the button. 
That would have been my choice too. Do I only get one of those? Guess so. Yeah, okay. So I should not... Uh, I should not try and dash through things. I was really hoping to leave my, my poison. My poison behind. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, there's some HP. It's kind of pleasant. These mushrooms, on the other hand, are maybe not so pleasant. Okay, can I pin any of the rest of these? Maybe. Now it doesn't look like it. I guess I'll grab a soap booster. It's just a void for a hot second. Oh, being being slimed up like this is actually really tough. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm soaked now. Wh Hi. What if we can cap? one of the big dudes. I love this attack pattern system. Did you kind of charge up and go for a big shot? Poison skill fumigate. A lot of poisonous gas. You shift. Your mount just gained an attack skill. When you hit monsters with an attack skill, your mount will regain stamina. Use your skills often so you can keep your mount for longer. Okay, and we get a butt. Okay, stay away from that for a hot second. Oh, is there a cooldown on it? Yes, there is. But these guys are kind of weak anyway. So yeah, let's just... Uh, regain some stamina while we're here. You sure they get stamina back? It looks like it was costing me stamina. Oh. Okay. So I want to kill all but one of these guys. There we go. New mount. Does not give me more HP. Oh, that's a really bad time to have an itchy knee. Really bad time to have an itchy knee. I guess I should probably itch with my shooting hand instead. Frog, okay. HP and Ferocity. Oh! Your pin press has been charged up again. It charges after you clear battles. Remember to keep capturing plants as you explore. They're important. Okay, so mount skills are stronger. Now here's the question. Can I go... Can I go back? Maybe I can. It looks like I can. I'm just gonna wander off, though. This game is cool. I knew it was going to be fun, and I've been kind of beating myself up a bit for not being able to play it. Or, I guess, not bothering to play it. Too many other games coming out. Okay, let's get Splitting Shot. Because, yeah, I can bring these back with me and keep them, though I have no idea exactly what the benefit is. 
I love the uh, the fruit power-up system. It's fun. Bubble Bob. Big bubble filled with little bubbles. They can all make the target slippery. Use space. Got it. Anything else? Nope. Okay, didn't take damage there. We are healing slowly. Wait, question? <gasps> but what about Death Slug? Yes! I got a fancy slug. Oh, yeah, it's got 50 stamina now. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get past that. We need something special. Oh. Danger. Danger is my... Not my middle name. And if it was, I'd question my parents' decision-making skills. Let's actually not do that. I don't want to fight anything in the middle of that. That just seems risky. <gasps> this guy's kind of important. I have him. Uh, actually, you know what? I have, like, a, uh, a little figurine of him that I bought. Because the developer... I think it was the developer's sister, specifically. Uh, had... Uh, I think they 3D printed it, and then the si the sister specifically, like, hand-painted them. Uh, and then shipped it to me, and it was actually really, uh, like, shockingly cheap, because I, I think they're based in the UK. And it was just, like, cost, what, 20, 30 bucks? Like, I got it the exact same day that I got my Mass Effect uh, Legendary Cash, and let me tell you... But Mass Effect Legendary Cash was not nearly as good. As the, uh, the cute little thing that they... They had. All my mount skills do, do more damage. Cool. I see a tree this direction, and I think we got our pin. This is fun. How many... Ooh, free stamina. How many roguelikes are there that actually have, like, good monster collection game? Oh, gosh. I didn't even notice him there. Okay, I think... I think it's dead. What? Ow. Oh, that hurt. I didn't even notice what I was doing for a hot second there. I'm trying to think of other monster collection roguelikes, and admittedly, this isn't quite monster collection. Lucky trigger. Shots have a chance to be bigger and stronger, but it doesn't look like I can keep it. It was a bit of a shame. Jumbo. Homing. Let's just take the jumbo back with us. Rapid fire. Just refill. Is there a way... Oh. Explosive rip, rifle and... Got it. Burst. Eh, this is fine. But yeah, I can cycle between them. Okay. Not a big fan of explosive. Let's go bananas. Okay, so Explosive does a little bit more damage. But I like homing. Missing is inconvenient. Plus we got some more nanners that are just kind of sitting around. So I can restock as I go by. Now I'm pretty sure we got danger up here. Interesting. Okay. I guess that's why we didn't want to be in there. Because I, I don't actually want to get sticky. 
Sticky is bad. Go jumbo? Big jumbo. Big shots. So much backseating are we allowed with a pass? It's just one message. You can have multiple things if you want to try and jam them all in there. But it's all got to fit in one message. Ow. Didn't work that well for me. There we go. Alright. Okay. And slug... Oh, damn it. And the slug lord is pissed. And if I take a hit... There we go. Got it. Oh, ain't done yet. Okay, I gotta remember I can charge my abilities. Holy shit, this became a bullet hell. Okay, let's switch to rapid fire. Because it looks like we gotta clear the shield if we want to hit him. There he goes. Alright. Charge Blast is stronger, more explosive. Cool. Okay. It's definitely... It's definitely getting tougher, but we're having a good time, and I haven't even started with the meta progression yet. Okay, that's Burst. Mixed feelings on Burst. I usually almost never use it. My hits. Let's see. Grab that. Can I? No, I can't get rid of this. Aha! There's a Shedinja thing. And some HP. Hell yeah. Anything else? Not really. The hill zones. Bad bees. There we go. Wow. Okay, that did some damage. Cleanse. Unfortunately, that's the kind of thing that I would want to save. Alas. Oh, look at the little armadillo. He's so cute. This whole game is adorable. So Surprisingly, um... I'm not going to say difficult, necessarily, but... Oh, shit. Ow. I walked right in. I literally walked right into that one. Okay. Whoop. Ow. Got bad. Holy shit. Kind of pulled it off. Okay, uh, let's restock on a rapid fire. Take a look. I guess let's head south. Unlock a new area, kind of. Oh, that's poison. Yeah, it's poison. Okay. Let's see, I don't care about most of these. So far, so good. Oh. Whatever that critter was that popped out, I think that does slime, slime damage. 
I'll have to keep that in mind. Splitting. It's rifle. Oh, shit. Okay. Got him. Those quick suckers. Okay. Man dying. Well. Damn it. Double damn it. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Got him. Okay. Combo combust dial. Burn proof and courageous. Temporary coat of flames. Leave a smoky trail as you move. Cool. Nope. And I'm dead. Damn it. It's fine. That is tough. But it was fun. Alright, so we got some stuff. Analysis complete. Collecting new pin types will increase your explorer rank and unlock new perks. Okay, tame small critters with your lasso. They will follow and protect you. After taking damage, shockwave that clears nearby bullets. Charge your mounts attacks for up to 50% bonus power. Or melee a hostile plant to temporarily gain ammo effects. Let's probably go with that. How much more can I get? No perk points left. If taking damage would defeat you, dismount instead. Activate both mount both mount, uh, mount attacks together to unleash a powerful super move instead. And monsters will now explode when you inflict an ele element. Huh. That's fun. I brought all your captured pins back to base camp. Discovering new pin types lets you level up and unlock awesome perks. So I've added an objective to collect more pins. You can see all of your objectives in the pause menu. Hooray. Move. No. So I can't actually gain the benefit of these. Tragic. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Go to the left again, I guess. As I don't have a choice. Alright, and with that, that's this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. I mean, obviously, we just finished a run, we're starting a new one, and uh, let me tell you, the runs start getting kind of long as I get better at this. Uh, especially once we start unlocking all of the different uh, critter moves, and then figuring out, you know, which ones are actually the most overpowered, and then figuring out how to abuse them as hard as possible. Anywho, uh, this game is really neat. It's really cute, and it's really well made. I realize that it might look kind of kiddish to maybe some people, but like this game is pretty complex, and it's really fun trying out the different monsters, and then, yeah, seeing what works. There are some really busted ones, let me tell you. Uh, and this game is deep, too. I don't know if you guys really saw the depth of this map, but like this is, this is the kind of game that might actually take a solid like four to five hours to clear the entire map, if that's actually possible. I'm not sure. I think most of my runs so far have been about an hour long, give or take. Uh, you have X number of steps on the map that you can take before the uh, before night falls, at which point I have not survived that process yet. I've done some other things though, and honestly, you've got plenty of time to get a bunch of stuff done anyway, so uh, it's not really a big deal. I don't know. It's cute. I can't wait to play more of this. I can't see where can't wait to see where the developer takes this because. Like I said, there's a lot of interesting ideas expressed within this, and there aren't a whole lot of monster collection roguelikes, and this actually hits a really nice sweet spot. You know, you have a wide variety, which, by the way, each of them has their own songs, so pay attention to that, because 
I noticed that like halfway through and I'm like, oh, soundtrack. Uh, but, you know, you have all of these different monsters to mess with, but you never really actually end up bogged down. And most monster collection games tend to be kind of slow in that regard. And so it's kind of neat to have yeah, one that doesn't outstay its welcome. So, I guess with all that said, Patch Quest is out on Steam now for 20 bucks, which I think is a very fair price. Uh, especially for the amount of content that they already have available, and how just good the game is. It's it's fun, it's charming, and like I said, can't wait to play more. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to pick it up yourselves, it's available now. And with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I got a couple of runs uh, already pre-recorded from this stream, and then we'll be uh, probably recording at least a, a little bit more over the course of Early Access, just because uh, I, I've only seen maybe half the map right now, and I'd like to see... I'd like to at least try and master every single critter before I go. I think there's 30 of them or so in the game, and they're pretty fun to play with. And so, yeah, I want, I want to try them all, and maybe beat the bosses. There's six of them total. Six dungeons? At least that's what the menu said. Anyway, I'm rambling. I just... I, I can't stop gushing about this game. Uh, so... I guess with everything else out of the way, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you next time. I can word.